The mysterious world of the depths gave world science many surprises that alarmed scientists around the world. These finds in the Mariana Trench still excite the minds of researchers. In this video, you will find out if there is life and if so, who lives at the bottom of the Mariana Trench? What new mysteries have been unraveled by scientists who have been trying to find answers for more than a hundred years? This time, I suggest you put on wetsuits, stock up on oxygen masks and also subscribe to my channel if you are not already subscribed. Let's go! The deepest place on the Earth's surface it is located on the western edge of the Pacific Ocean, 200 kilometers east of the Mariana Archipelago, the Mariana Trench. Paradoxically, humanity knows much more about the secrets of space or mountain peaks than about the depths of the ocean. And one of the most mysterious and unexplored places on our planet is just the Mariana Trench. So what do we know about it? In 1996, the New York Times published a shocking story about equipment diving into the Mariana Trench from the American scientific vessel Glomer Challenger. The spherical apparatus for deep sea travel was affectionately nicknamed the Hedgehog by the team. Sometime after the start of the dive, the instruments recorded terrifying sounds, reminiscent of the grinding of metal on metal. The hedgehog was immediately raised to the surface, and they were horrified. The huge steel structure was crumpled, and the strongest and thickest, about 20 cm in diameter cable, seemed to be sawn. There were many explanations immediately. Some said that these were tricks of the monsters inhabiting the natural object, others were inclined to the version of the presence of an alien mind and still others believed that there were mutated octopuses. But what really happened you will find out a little later. In 1875, the crew of the British Corvette Challenger discovered a place in the Pacific Ocean where there was no bottom. Kilometer after kilometer, the rope of the lot went overboard, but there was no bottom. And only at a depth of 8,184 meters, the descent of the rope stopped. Thus, the deepest underwater crack on Earth was discovered. It was named the Mariana Trench after the nearby islands. Oceanographic scientists have long tried to find out its true depth. Studies of different years gave different values. The fact is that at such a colossal depth, the density of water increases as it approaches the bottom. And only in 2011, the depth in the Challenger Abyss was set at 10,994 plus minus 40 meters. This is the height of Mount Everest plus another 2 kilometers from above. In 2021, Chinese scientists at the bottom of the Mariana Trench were expecting an alarming surprise – giant Mimi viruses. This type of microorganism has the largest capsid of all viruses known today. The Chinese mission Challenger Deep allowed scientists to extract samples of more than 15 new types of viruses, among which were these giants. Despite all the concerns, these microorganisms are quite safe for humans. There is no clear evidence that they are capable of causing severe infectious diseases. But this suggests that the bottom is a very tenacious environment. Perhaps in the future, they will evolve and become more dangerous, who knows? In the trench, at a depth of about 4 kilometers, is the active Daikoka volcano, spewing liquid sulfur, which boils at 187 degrees Celsius in a small depression. The only lake of liquid sulfur was discovered only on Jupiter's moon Io. And in the north of the canyon, there are white smokers, geysers that erupt liquid carbon dioxide at a temperature of 70 to 80 degrees Celsius. Scientists suggest that it is in such geothermal boilers that one should look for the origins of life on Earth. Hot springs warm up the icy waters, supporting life in the abyss 
the temperature at the bottom of the Mariana Trench is in the range of 1 to 3 degrees Celsius. The bottom of the sinkhole is covered with a thick layer of mucus from organic sediments that have been descending from the upper layers of the ocean for hundreds of thousands of years. Mucus is an excellent nutrient medium for barophilic bacteria, which form the basis of the nutrition of protozoa and multicellular organisms. Bacteria, in turn, become food for more complex organisms. The deeper the inhabitants of the abyss, the better their organs of vision are, allowing them to catch the slightest glimmer of light on the body of their prey in complete darkness. Some individuals themselves are able to produce directional light. Other creatures are completely devoid of organs of vision, they are replaced by organs of touch and radar. With increasing depth, underwater inhabitants lose their color more and more. The bodies of many of them are almost transparent. When Viktor Veskovo's submersible touched the bottom of the Mariana Trench for the first time, the crew held their breath. An incredible depth of 10,900 meters was a new world record, as no one had ever descended so deep. Although the Mariana Trench is considered the deepest point on the planet, it is not the closest point to the center of the Earth. Our planet is not a perfect spherical shape, and its radius is about 25 kilometers, less at the poles than at the equator. Therefore, the deepest point at the bottom of the Arctic Ocean is 13 kilometers closer to the center of the Earth than in the Challenger Abyss. Guys, look at your devices, it looks like you're running out of oxygen. Did you enjoy our dive? This is the end of this video, thank you for your likes, subscribe to my channel if you like this video and join our communities of lovers of science, space and the unknown using the links in the description to keep abreast of events. Hugs.